Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss J. I'm excited to read this book with you. Let's click the button and get started. Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Written by Jess Keating, illustrations by Marta Alvarez McGuinz. Shark Lady. It was Saturday and Eugenie Clark wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching for her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with her sharks? to breathe underwater with gills of her own. More than anything else, she wanted to find out. When the summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Stuffing sticky gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugenie dove down, down, down. Salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars, speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean's current. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them, so she dove. This time into books. There were whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugenie wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugenie's notebooks were filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her pages. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15 gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugenie saved her allowance to buy guppies, clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugenie what to do. Forget those sharks, they told her. Be a secretary. Be a housewife. Eugenie wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans, and they said that sharks were mindless monsters. Eugenie knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark, so Eugenie dove again. She plunged into every course she could. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grew, how they behaved, and how they were put together, both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugenie was becoming one of the smartest students in her field. Even after she earned her degree, though, many still doubted her. But Eugenie's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenie collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had not been discovered before. They were the Red Sea and Sand Diver, the Barred Xena Pipefish, and the Volcano Triplefish. On a research mission exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving along when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. In Island Mujeres, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she swam through dark caves, still and silent, full of resting sharks. Eugenie's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon, they started calling her the Shark Lady. Eugenie had proven that she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. 
As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks. But she never forgot that many still believed sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputations, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. But Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugenie was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned that they could remember their training for at least two months. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. The end. This is a page about sharks. It's called Shark Bites. I'll read the titles, but I hope you spend some time reading the text. Dangerous monsters? No way. Sleep tight. No toothbrush here. Sneaky skin. Big, small, and everything in between. Mermaid purses. Life at the top. Sharks are old. Very old. This is the timeline for Eugenie Clark. Take a look at it and learn a little bit more about her life. Eugenie wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. So Eugenie dove. The end.